Hi, this is Aziz Khan. Uh, we are in the series of the videos on uh, some financial terms related to telecom operations. So, in the last video, we were discussing about cost per bit, and I was telling you that it uh, has the same fragility and same estimation type which we found in ARPU as well. <coughs> So here I have shown you two, I am showing you two different, uh, you can say that two different scenarios and you will feel that uh, uh, how you calculate or how you want to portray, I mean this can have different uh, understanding, there may be different bases as well. Like. Uh, here you can see that on the left hand side here we see that this is the cost of mobile internet around the world and it's the cost of 1 GB of mobile data in selected countries in 2019. So here we see that the India is on the lowest side and Switzerland is put on the highest side and they say that they have checked 6313 mobile data plans and this is being analyzed by cable.co.uk so cable.co.uk has provided this data to different people around the world about the costing uh, one thing just i should mention first of this costing is for the users for the subscriber side costing this is not the costing that we were talking in our last video i mean because you can have costing from two sides one is that what does it cost to the operator and one is that how much they charge to their customer so these numbers are basically that how much the operator charge because they are made based on the data plans this is not the costing of uh, these the operator of these countries so first thing you will uh, remember that for example like for example you go to buy a shoe then you buy a shoe for some price i mean for example 200 rupees but the the person who is selling the shoe uh, the price for him should be different i mean his cost should be something else i mean maybe he bought the shoes for 100 and now he's selling you for 200 so this is the customer side costing and here we can see that usually the less developed countries or the more competitive countries are on the lower side while the higher developed countries are usually on the higher side which feels a bit odd but uh, if you have some concern or if you want to know something more you can write in the comment i can uh, make another video where we can discuss the economy of uh, these things that why a country like australia is here but a country like united states is in this part i mean so because this depends on a lot of other things which are more related to the economy of the country than anything else i mean so and there are a lot lot other things that we can uh, discuss uh, further but if we add those things also in this video then this video should be very much lengthy now i want to show you the fragility of data as well i mean you see that this is also a data of average cost of 1 GB on the right side you see this is the cost of 1 GB only difference is this is for every country almost every country of the world but it does not make any difference I mean every country has these 19 countries as well so but here we, we see that uh, for example the top three countries are African countries they are not here I mean they did not show it because of any reason which is not a big problem the bigger problem for me is that i would like to show you that switzerland here it says 20 dollar per gb now on this side this is switzerland and now they say that it's only eight dollar per gb so this is a kind of a strange thing that uh, same country on two different 
uh, visuals they have uh, different very very much different numbers now if you go towards the source you will feel something strange that if you can read it here i will try to make it a bit more bigger not possible the source is the same this is also cable.co.uk so we have the same source both of these data are coming from the same source and they have a different number for the same country so that's why we cannot easily say that uh, these data are very much reliable or you should fully believe i mean you should see that what was the reason uh, that they uh, make uh, both of these table i mean why they make this data and the other data but the good thing is that india is on the lower side here and india is also on the lower side here so at least india is on the on the lower side on both of these but the costing here india is 0.26 dollar but here they are costing india 0.09 and in the top least expensive they have put india and israel and kyrgyzstan italy and ukraine so italy is again in this list as well but russia is being missed so the point to tell you is that even if you are getting some data from somewhere don't fully rely on that data take that data as a indicator only i mean that okay if this is indicating something then okay this indication is fine but don't take it as a exact number because you don't know that what was the actual you have or either you have to go in very much detail that what was the hinges based on which they have produced this table differently and then this table differently but there are some good things i mean like for example if you watch it here here they say that these top 3 countries are most expensive but they have given a reason as well because they feel that they is can be only one operator so if you will have multiple operators then this cost can generally go down they say that usually for two mobile networks in a country the average cost don't go above 13 dollars if there are three then it goes a bit more lower and then lower and then lower so this is a kind of uh, economy of scale as well that we were talking that based on these kind of things uh the pricing can be uh, different so the take from this table is that uh the cost of data around the world is at least for the subscriber it's not the same i mean there are different cost to the people and in the same way basically the cost towards the operator is also basically different that's why the cost to subscriber is also different because they cannot be you can say very much dif dif different because otherwise the regulatory authorities or the people who are managing things they may ask that if you are your own cost is very much lower than why you are charging it very high so for example if switzerland has been seen as uh, on the highest side then they must be the costing within the operators should also be very high and as i told you that we can discuss it in, in, in another video if you want so i hope that this video should be a good uh, understanding for you on the costing side that we have different type of costing and the costing towards customer is based on different economic reason i mean for example there is a monopoly what is the different kind of values that they are being they are paying to provide the data to the customer so we can discuss it in uh, another video if required let's meet in the next video and then we talk about that what is the fragility of this costing like we talked in uh, arpu that what is the fragility of arpu so we should talk about the fragility of costing as well so see you in the next video goodbye